jquery ui progress bar displays the progress of uh, of any process you can see this uh, progress bar is increasing and i can decrease this also by removing the characters now we will see how the jquery ui progress bar works visit this url available in the description scroll down and copy the jquery ui basic structure let us first paste the code here we will now we'll create the div div id is equal to progress bar 1 because we will be using more progress bar so we will be using one here you can use your own name any name so we are given progress bar 1 so now let us come to the uh, jquery part we will use the selector we have just used the progress bar 1 progress bar 1 now declare it as a progress bar progress bar fine okay now inside this let us first set the value value is equal to 40 because at this value when the page loads this will be the progress bar value initial value then max value how how much maximum it can go it will go up to 100 let us say minimum let's say 0 we can go negative also with this let us see how it uh, looks let us uh, refresh this page you can see the progress bar uh, this value is here and it is the maximum value 100 will come but nowhere we are able to display the data or display the value where it is we'll try to code that now we'll now learn how to set or uh, and read the value so for this let us add two buttons to this button now let us uh, give id is equal to b1 now we'll only put a plus symbol because button now this is where we'll be uh, we'll be adding the value or increasing the value now let us give another now id is equal to we'll make it b2 and say minus so two buttons are there now this two button value once it is clicked let us okay fine we will increase and decrease the uh, progress bar by using these buttons for that purpose let us uh, write the code for the click function of the buttons now let us say b1 b1 once what happens once we click this click function now let us uh, create this mm, fine we'll end this first okay this is our click function we'll write inside whenever the button is click what will happen now let us first declare present value value 1 let us take present value 1 is equal to now identifier is our uh, progress bar 1 progress bar 1 now the dot uh, let us say ok progress bar now it is a option now this is value now this code will store the whatever the value is there in uh, our present value uh, it will store the in this variable present value 1 now what we will do is we will increase the present value by 10 present value 1 is equal to present value 1 plus 10 will in every click will increase the value now let us set the value again now we are coding for progress bar 1 now dot here progress bar now option now let us we are setting the value so value now let us put it mm, present uh, present value 1 so this will set the value for 
per hour progress bar one hour the click before going to b2 let us first check this now let us save this now i am going here refreshing okay i am getting let us click the button fine you can see the value is increasing so far we have not coded the minus uh, or the ne ye minus button code so let us what you will do we will copy this code here is cursor we will copy this code and paste it here now we will make it b1 to b2 uh, once click this is this is fine now only thing what you will do is this plus 10 will make it minus 10 once b2 is clicked value is read from the uh, progress bar decrease by 10 and again the value is set now let us save this code and uh, refresh this now plus anyway we have checked it has worked now let us come minus side also it is working now but whatever it is we are not displaying the value we'll learn now how to display the value in the progress bar now we are able to increase and decrease the value of the progress bar but uh, let us see how we will display the value in the progress bar and this value also should change as and when the value changes so for do that let us uh, code it now uh, we'll progress bar 1 now these are its children children ui progress bar value now we are getting this now let us say dot html now what we will do will uh, instead of uh, uh, will do little formatting will do present value 1 present value 1 dot 2 precision we have used let us say 3 the places so these are the decimal places we can manage with this using two precision now let us uh, fine we'll do one thing we'll also add one percentage i'm just giving you percentage you can give anything else also so you can understand that uh, any string we can attach here also so let us just go and use the css let us uh, display it boldly display now let us use block fine now let's save this we have only kept this code inside the plus symbol so let us see what happens you can see the value is reflected here okay what you will do we'll copy this code and paste it below our negate uh, other button also where it is the value will decrease now let us save this refresh this now let us use the plus we are able to increase this and let us decrease this also now this is working so whatever value we are able to display it and increase the increase and decrease the progress bar now this is fine you have seen how we will are reading now we'll develop one application where um, we'll be able to set the value of one progress bar based on the value of one progress bar in the second progress bar or in the this way we'll learn how you will read set the value all those things of course inside the click function also we have used those things now we'll use a practical one we'll add one more button and uh, uh, see that this value is linked with the first uh, progress bar and uh, the value it uh, it takes the value of half of the whatever is value of the first progress bar so let us create one more progress bar here we'll give one gap between them so let's give two line breaks and 
put a bar this will be progress bar 2 so let's uh, display it we will copy this one and declare the second one now bar 1 slightly will change we will make it uh, let us say 60 and because we want to display it uh, half of it in bar 2 so we will increase the range to 200 now this one will make it 30 30 and this one will let us uh, keep it 100 only because this second bar will display half the value of bar 1 so let us declare it to bar 2 progress bar 2 now let's save this and refresh okay we are get displaying two bars so far we have not uh, connected them so nothing will happen in the second bar only the first bar will change now the range we have increased to 200 for the first bar so you can see we have increased it beyond 100 and coming back okay now let us link them now whenever b1 or the first one is clicked what will happen now this will be now let us declare a second variable where uh, present value 2 let us give the name present value 2 is equal to present value 1 by 2 now this is what we have declared now let us now assign it this value to our uh, progress bar 2 progress bar 2 so now that uh, is a progress bar again now we will set it option option now option is value value we have already used here you can see the this line we have already used how you have set the value now the same thing we are doing for the progress bar 2 but we will set it present value 2 now earlier we have set it to value 1 now it is present value 2 uh, fine now mm, let us read it you may say that okay why again we have to read it it is because some other process might have affected the thing where in this case it is not so so but still it is always a better take a fresh value from the uh, value for the present value present value 2 is equal to now let us say uh, it is now for us progress bar 2 progress bar 2 now progress bar uh, progress bar option now let us option and give value now we are storing it we have already done it at line number 31 if you have see it for the uh, progress bar 1 now we have did it for the progress bar 2 now progress bar let us see yeah this code is correct but we have not given this is we have to give a quotation here fine now this is okay present value we have got it now let us display part we will see now what you will do instead of writing again we will copy this part let us give little break here now what we are doing is we will make it progress bar 2 so nothing to change now the value 2 display in block ok now uh, button 1 we have coded now let us see how this is reflecting button 1 means increasing part only we have completed let us see how it works now let me increase this you can see it is working perfectly I am going beyond and this value second progress bar value is displaying half the value of the first progress bar you can see now the second part I have to code means negative means decreasing uh, button I have to code it now so let us try that one what we will do instead of writing the full code what we will do we will copy this and paste it here ig present value 2 is this mm, value y2 what happens let us copy this come back here now nothing more to do and 
paste this over this now when the minus goes this should this present value 2 is uh, divided by 2 at here now value 1 value 2 now that's all this should uh, work let's save this and uh, refresh our code let us increase first it is going up now decrease yes decrease also working we are reducing it and the value but the range is different so it is going beyond 100 this will not go beyond 100 similarly decreasing part also we can check it we can display a progress bar while asking user to enter uh, uh, data in a text area so there is a restriction is involved so let us see welcome to class 2 net you are inside one text area beyond that after 50 characters it's not allowing now this progress bar you can see we are uh, uh, now I am slightly de deleting the text also you can see the progress bar is changing this is one of the application of the progress bar we'll see in our next tutorial how to code this